Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learn back once again in this YouTube Astrology segment. I'm going to be giving you my Taurus February 2020 horoscope forecast, part one of two. And yes, this does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant anyway. Well, first thing up is as far as February goes, the sun will be in Aquarius from the 1st until the 19th. So the 10th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, there could be a strong concentration of energy, focus, and attention on one's career, uh, their ambitions, uh, their stature in life, social status, the dominant parent, which is often the father, uh, notoriety, recognition, uh, public image, reputation. And given that this is uh, Aquarius energy, this may be done uh, really uh, with a lot of uh, selflessness, a lot of consideration. There may be some ingenuity uh, involved, and especially in a career-related matters, it might be a, a focus on being more innovative uh, in one's career or just going outside of the box, so to speak, if one's trying to uh, really improve one's notoriety or status or their recognition. Um, at this time, and it could also be a time to, and also a lot of these things may be done with a lot of altruism as well, and especially with matters uh, with the dominant parent, which is often the father or older people even, that might be prominent uh, in one's life scheme now. This could also be a uh, time, too, that given that the, the sun could be connected with dominant males in our life, that uh, this could be a, a dominant male, it could be Aquarius, sun, moon, or ascending person, or one that embodies those characteristics and might figure more prominently in one's 10th uh, house related matters, such as one's uh, public image, reputation, stature in life, one's career, and attaining success. Anyway, next thing up. As far as February goes, the sun will be in Pisces from the 19th until the 29th. So the 11th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, um, there could be a strong concentration of energy, uh, focus, and attention on one's uh, goals, aspirations, uh, friends, acquaintances, um, one's future, uh, stepchildren, if applicable, groups, clubs, organizations, uh, social media, and social networking. And given that this is a uh, Pisces energy, a lot of these matters may be done uh, with a lot of self-sacrifice, a lot of altruism, compassion, even imagination, and even idealism. It could be about really focusing on, on being very, uh, as far as uh, being very idealistic regarding one's future, but hopefully not. Uh, just be careful you're not overly unrealistic at this time, uh, Taurus. And it could be a time too where you might be focusing on um, on a duplicitous or deceptive friend or one that might be rather naive or gullible. But at the same time, this could also be a time where there could be very strong focus on uh, Pisces uh, aspirations and goals, such as something with the metaphysical, which includes astrology or uh, spirituality, poetry, dancing, chemistry, photography, oceanography, uh, something with special effects like illusion. Um, so it could also be a time where you might have a dominant uh, male figure. Um, it could be a Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant person, or one that embodies those traits. Uh, it could figure very prominently uh, in your goals, your aspirations, your future, and group-related matters, social networking at this time more so than usual, uh, perhaps. So, anyway. Well, next thing up, there will be a full moon in Leo on February 9th. So the fourth house as well will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, well, in some cases, this could be about uh, the completion or culmination of, um, it could be an extravagant home-related matter or doing something Leo-related in the home. It could be some kind of sports activity or some kind of entertainment or amusement uh, out of the home uh, at this time. Um, it could be something of a creative nature. Uh, it could be maybe something Leo related you might end that uh, you might be close to home with such as uh, golfing or doing some kind of performing like circus performing or acting or something connected with the entertainment uh, industry. Uh, it could also be a time too 
uh, when you're talking about full moons in astrology, it could be a time where one becomes tired, exasperated, or full of something. It could be a time where you might become tired, exasperated, or full, so to speak, of an overly domineering, flamboyant, uh, extroverted, um, even um, even somebody uh, maybe egotistical or arrogant. Um, it could be uh, someone you're close to home with. It could be the less dominant parent, which is often the mother. It could be a prominent family member at this time, but it could also be about a revelation maybe of some Leo that might be you feel close to home with, and it might be a Leo sun moon or ascendant person or simply one that embodies uh, Leo characteristics and could also be a time too when you're talking about um, full moons in astrology it could also be about revelations or unveilings this could be a time too or this could be about the revelation of an overly arrogant or overly flamboyant or extravagant um, home family member someone you're close to home with it might be some kind of dramatic discovery or unveiling you make through uh, your roots and your ancestry at this time or maybe becoming you might become more cognizant and uh, of your some real qualities you have at the core such as being uh, very courageous and um, bold uh, having fortitude uh, being magnanimous uh, being very charismatic and magnetic and um, so anyway next thing up there will be a new moon in Pisces on February 23rd, so the 11th house as well will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, well, in some cases, this could manifest in um, a start of a Pisces goal or aspiration. It could be something connected with the metaphysical, which includes astrology, poetry, dancing, photography, chemistry, oceanography, something with special effects, illusion, pharmaceutical uh, work. It could be something too where uh, it could be the beginning the start of a, a connection with a with a pisces a friend uh, an acquaintance a stepchild perhaps in some cases it could be a pisces sun moon or ascendant person or one that embodies piscean uh, traits at this time it could also be about a time where you begin to show more self-sacrificing energy, altruism, and compassion toward friends, acquaintances, people you may uh, be connected with at some group, club, or organization, or even through matters with social media and social networking uh, at this time. It could also be a time, too, where you begin to be more idealistic, uh, but hopefully not unrealistic, regarding uh, future matters uh, at this time as well. When you, if you start to become more dreamy about uh, these things and, and envisioning where you really want to be in terms of uh, your future and your, as far as your goals and your aspirations may be uh, at this time. So anyway... Well, the next thing up is, well, uh, Mercury will be in Aquarius as far as February goes from the 1st until the 3rd. So the 10th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, well, one way this may uh, manifest and pan out, this could be about uh, really where you start to think outside the box, so to speak, as far as um, attaining more notoriety, recognition, your career-related matters. This could be about communications regarding Aquarius-like careers such as astrology, astronomy, aerospace, even rocket science, computers, electronics, and also being more considerate in your communications, perhaps with 10th house people such as uh, the dominant parent, which is often the father, uh, people prominent in your career, authority figures, older people, um, people that might figure prominently in your status, your, um, should say your reputation, your public image uh, at this time. And you may also be thinking really um, at this time as well. I mean, as I've stated in previous videos, Mercury can also be uh, about siblings. This could be about Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant people, or simply ones that embody Aquarius characteristics and might figure more prominently your public image, your reputation, uh, career endeavors, your status, your social status at this time, notoriety, uh, recognition, and attaining uh, success. Now, whether they're more beneficial or more to your detriment, a lot of this could be predicated and dependent on aspects that are made to points 
in your chart a sex star trying to natal Jupiter they might be more auspicious in these matters now an adverse aspect to your natal Saturn however you might be a little bit more to your detriment might be causing some limitation or loss or sorrow and grief in those matters uh, next thing up Mercury will be in Pisces as far as February goes from the 3rd until the 29th so the 11th house as well will be emphasized and highlighted hold on a moment people got the torpedo out here sorry about that I'm back but anyway so um, at this time uh, again going back uh, Mercury will be in Pisces as far as February goes from the 3rd until the 29th so the 11th house as well be emphasized and highlighted so at this time well this can manifest in a number of ways this could be about thinking very idealistically but hopefully not unrealistically about your future your goals your aspirations there could be communication regarding Piscean goals and aspirations uh, such as uh, fishing photography oceanography poetry dancing the metaphysical which includes um, astrology um, special effects illusion uh, pharmaceutical work anything that could be Pisces related it could also be a time too where you're thinking about being more altruistic more compassionate with your friends your acquaintances and being about about more self-sacrificing and, and really um uh, as far as groups clubs and organizations go sacrificing your time perhaps in these matters more so uh, than usual and also uh, as I've stated before Mercury can also be about siblings this could be about Pisces Sun Moon or ascendant people or simply ones that embody a uh, Piscean traits uh, that might figure more prominently your goals your aspirations matters with stepchildren um, it could be uh, your your future uh, groups clubs organizations social networking social media and whether they're more to your detriment or more beneficial to you a lot of that could be predicated and dependent on aspects that are made to points in your chart sex star trying your natal Jupiter they might be more auspicious in those matters but an adverse aspect your natal Saturn they might be causing some loss or restriction or even some grief and sorrow in these matters so anyway next thing up well Venus will be in Pisces as far as February goes from the first until the seventh so the 11th house as well be emphasized and highlighted so at this time you might find yourself a uh, spending um, it could be unrealistically but also spending where you're, you're sacrificing a lot of your own uh, your, your own needs in order to spend money for other people um, and, uh, and they could be friends acquaintances uh, stepchildren in some cases um, it could be uh, also too you might be valuing um, imagination uh, altruism uh, compassion self-sacrifice in matters with groups clubs organizations uh, matters with your friends your acquaintances at this time and also being I in valuing idealism in these matters as well it's not so much where you're uh, necessarily going to value overlooking transgressions of 11th house people but trying excuse me trying to see the good the best you can in these in these people that are associated with the 11th house at this time it could also be a time to um, Taurus if you're unattached you may connect with a Pisces Sun Moon or ascended person or simply one that embodies Piscean traits that might figure prominently your goals your aspirations your future uh, groups clubs organizations social networking uh, it could also be about uh, at this time as well I mean looking at this this could be about uh, express valuing forgiveness uh, with 11th house people at this time uh, as well so anyway but also guard against being overly gullible um, in financial matters and in terms of uh, people you might be dealing with with your friends your acquaintances people in groups uh, at this time as well I mean Pisces energy could be rather I mean it could be very deceptive and you know guard against you know being um, being duped you know into making us uh, some payment to somebody uh, 
and um, and you know expecting something bad, somebody promising you that they're going to pay you back, and then they don't uh, bother doing or something like this, because Venus and Pisces energy could be about uh, deceptive financial dealings. So just be careful at this time, Taurus. Last but not least. Venus will be in Aries as far as February goes from the 7th until the 29th. So the 12th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. Now at this time, this could be, in some cases, this could be about uh, impetuous or impulsive spending that might lead to some kind of a financial limitations and secret sorrows. And also, too, um, at this time, if you're unattached to Taurus, you may connect with a uh, Aries sun moon or a sun person or simply one that embodies Aries traits that uh, might figure up. It might be somebody that you might have a clandestine affair with. It could be somebody that might be uh, figuring prominently in your private matters, uh, things you do in solitude and seclusion, or uh, some 12th house related matters such as photography or something with um, the metaphysical, which includes astrology. It could be a spiritually bound person. Uh, this could also be a time to uh, where, I mean, sometimes it could be about valuing, um, you know, combat, being combative or uh, over valuing aggression or, or being overly assertive. Uh, the enjoyment of this might might lead to one's self undoing or some secret sorrows uh, at this time. Or valuing combat or arguing, uh, for example, as Aries could be very disputatious uh, energy. And at this time as well, uh, sometimes this could just be, uh, when, you, when you look at this energy, uh, this, well, I mean, sometimes this could just simply mean, be about some financial limitations. We're talking about Venus and astrology and uh, the 12th house. And it might be that an Aries uh, lover might kind of um, disappear, kind of dissipate, into, you know, not literally into thin air, but may go into hiding at this time or you may not see this person uh, as much as you ordinarily uh, may see uh, him or her and might be harder to express um, really sentiments at this time as well and, uh, and this could be about a lot of spontaneity and uh, spontaneous energy and love and um, behind the scenes or uh, behind closed doors uh, so to speak so anyway People, that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment, and until next time, stay well.